Hey, welcome! I'm Ellie and I am, yes, late to the game. As per usual, LEGO has put up images, well they've even put in the shop, of their uh, LEGO Friends March releases plus other things like sneaky Disney princess sets that we haven't seen and Dots ones. So we're going to have a quick look today. If you haven't already seen them, you probably have, like I said, a bit late. We had delayed school start here uh, in Australia because of the big influx of COVID and both of my children had birthdays at the same time and it's just been insanely busy but anywho let's have a look because I'm super excited as I always am so let go friends 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 friendly friends I have friends I definitely have friends now let's see where are we okay can't find them page two here no <laughs> Oh, this could be much slicker, but it wasn't. Okay, Vacation Beach House, which even just in the small image looks as though it is designed to attach onto, it looks like the same design as the Main Street building. So you reckon that this is designed to go onto it. I'll be interested to see whether there are little holes on the side. Yeah, I think I can kind of see little holes on the side there. So Vacation Beach House, we've got Mia, we have got Stephanie, we've got two of the other new characters who uh, uh, whose names escape me right now because they're all so new and I've forgotten this guy's even in a few sets and this one's in the uh in the canal boat which I'm just building at the moment which is so much awesome anyway all right so a beach house let's have a look let's have a look in no not that let's have a look inside so oh my gosh this is bright okay Okay. Oh, look. Okay. So it's Sebastian, this dude, isn't it? He's wearing shorty short shorts. I love this. Uh, this is the first time we've seen a boy wearing these shorts instead of these uh, three quarter length pants. I think it might be. So they've got gaming going on down here. I can see they're playing the Lego Friends uh, racing game, <laughs> which is kind of cute. They're all set up to race. There's not a whole lot in here. So this is a bit empty. I like the print of the wind chimes on the wall, on the window. And uh, what else am I seeing? This oh look at hello pink rocket. We are seeing all these clues for a space theme. We gotta get a space theme for the middle of the year because we're just seeing so much going on that's hinting at it. That's gotta be it. All right, so this is kind of kind of bare inside, but. You know what? We will build it and see and then add to it a little tiny spa pooly kind of thing out the side. All right, so that's very cute. I'm not seeing anything kind of new and innovative, you know, beyond what we've seen. Oh, ping pong table, nice. <laughs> seen at the beginning of the year sets. No alternate faces. Blow up banana boat. That's very cute. Okay, shorty shorts. <laughs> <laughs> loving it. Ooh, electric scooters. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. Let's have a look what else. So pet daycare center. Let's have a look. This is a $100 here in Australia. These are Australian prices because I'm on the AustralianLego.com shop coming 1st of March. And ooh, we're seeing the tube again. Is Lego Friends the only theme so far to have this, this little enclosed tube? Hmm. And we got Rivers back again. Oh, the a little Scotty. The Scotty dog is, is white or like a creamy color. Oh, I like this top too. Okay, so this girl here whose name, once again, I, I'm not certain who it is. I'd have to have a look at the box. She's got the hairpiece that Emma was wearing in the street food festival. And Emma is wearing her the cat ears. She's got her little brother here. Who are these animals? Okay, so we've got a bunny. We've got the new Scotty Terrier in a different color. We've got a cat, which looks like Chico, and a hamster, which looks like it might be uh, Olivia's hamster. Do they still even have... Oh, look here, look. Okay, so Rumble. Rumble's got... Okay, so Rumble, Olivia's hamster, Twister. The, I can't see what the name is of the Scotty dog. And here's a spot up here for Chico. So basically, this is where the Lego friends send the animals during the day when they're doing all the other things apart from schooling that they do. I love the poop register. Look, is it on who's on poop patrol today or is it which animals have pooped? Because that's always important, also important to keep an eye on as well. Oh my goodness, there's not a lot in this one either, but my goodness, it is slide central. Outside, we've got this side here into a, oh, into a bone pool. This looks a lot like the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the ultimate, um, playhouse, cubby house that I made with a thingy going into the pool, <laughs> but it wasn't bone shaped. 
Oh, all right. This is very, very cute. Oh, and I love the fact that the Lego Friends animals are in here. We're worrying about the lack of Lego Friends lore and in the new 2022 sets, but it's good to see that their animals are here. Hopefully they still belong to them. A pet adoption cafe. More, it's all about animals for March. So, no, hold on. I didn't want to make it big like that. I wanted to make it full screen. So good with tech. <gasps> love these on the top. The little buildable cat and the puppy. The papa. And then we got the black Scotty dog again. Got a transport tricycle <laughs> in limey colours. Well, s tropical colours. Adopt me. That's adorable. Another puppy. Oh, my goodness. New door with a... Oh, with a puppy door, with a dog door. Is that wider than the normal one? No, it mustn't be. It must be the same size. This is long overdue and awesome. And I love the fact that, obviously, the pets can fit through there because you can see the puppy sitting in there. Wow. Okay. I really like this. What's on the inside? Oh, something's widened out here. Got the little kitten that we've seen in a few things. Got some bowls, food bowls. It's a cafe, right? Is it a cafe? They've got snacks anyway. And obviously, I mean, Olivia's getting the snacks. Oh, okay. All right. Very cute. This is very, very cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And yeah, that dog door is just amazing. Right. Pet Adoption Cafe. Obviously, I forgot what it was called. So it's a cafe to come and adopt these pets because they don't belong to anybody. Oh, pet playground. Mm, it's all about pets. So this one looks like it's beach themed. It's definitely beach themed. We're on the beach. This looks like a giant sandcastle. All sorts of things. Oh, it's many things that are designed for. Once again, there are three. Oh, this is a new little print on this grey gray puppy's face. We've got three pets included as well as Andrea and her little sister who's finally got a new outfit. Andrea's outfit looks pretty swell too. Oh, looking forward to checking that out. There's the obligatory poop over here. <laughs> There's a couple of poops. Are people not putting them in the bin? They're just leaving them beside the bin. Oh, I have issues with that. All right. Very adorable. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And they can train their pet here. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 And there's a pet clinic ambulance, which looks mm, kind of, looks kind of basic. It comes with, is this a color we haven't seen or a print we haven't seen with this dog? I'm not sure. Uh, it looks pretty basic. It comes with Ethan and I wish Ethan had got a new face print. He still just looks so young. We've seen this top on him as well. This is all kind of stuff we've seen before and yeah, just enough stuff. This must be a four plus set. There's, there's barely anything in it. But there's lots of play elements. So we got two mini dolls plus the puppy plus the little tiny ambulance to be able to take it somewhere. So that's really cute. And the and the price actually reflects that. So that's, I mean, you get what you pay for. So but there's lots and lots of play opportunities in that set. What else have we got? No, nothing new there. Right, okay. So let's go to, let's go to Dots, which has got, no, let's go to Disney, which has got, Two new sets just kind of randomly thrown in there. It's suddenly, yeah, suddenly new sets. Where are they? Where are ya? Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Ah, look at this. Okay, it has been some time since we have seen Ariel's Underwater Palace because we've seen it before, but this in this scale, and this is very, very, very beautiful. Really quite... Yeah, there are so many Easter eggs and accuracies in this that I just love, including, can I scroll down so that we can just see, look at this, we finally get King Triton as a mini doll and he looks excellent. I love the new prints here on the tails with the little scales rather than the curly cues. It just looks so much more realistic and less fanciful and translucent tail ends. Oh my goodness. And for the first time, is this Arista? Is it Arista, her sister? <laughs> that rhymes. It's Arista, her sister. So all in red. Oh goodness. Flounder looks a little bit demented. Not sure why. Did Flounder always look demented? I'm not sure. Ow. And she's got finally, she's finally got her dingle hopper. <laughs> and all the treasures. Oh my goodness, her treasures. Okay, so let's have a look inside. It's a bit hard to see when I do it like that. Okay, all right. So we got King Triton. He's got a spot right at the top. Is that a bath? There's a bath there. We've got little beds. Okay, all right. Very much looking forward to this. It doesn't look like there's a heap inside, but there are so many things that are actually true to the movie that it's amazing. Look at those tails. 
Oh, 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 and I did fail to mention the fact that Arista's hairpiece is one that we haven't seen before in this color. Am I wrong? Am I right? We definitely haven't had it. I, I don't have this hairpiece anyway. Or do I? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Okay, all right. Let's have a look. There is another little Disney princess set, which is this one, which is Elsa and the Knox Ice Stable. I mean... The knock is a water horse, so what it's doing in a stable in the forest is beyond me. But, you know, that is what it is. I love these printed panels of the uh, of the birch trees. And now we get Elsa in a brand new outfit. I'm not certain the hair is quite right for this, but the outfit's beautiful. <laughs> Why is she brushing the horse? It's a water horse! It's a water spirit for heaven's sake! Okay, all right. Anyway, what is the price on this? We go... Ooh, Okay, so if this wasn't a Disney a Disney set, it would probably be, oh, I don't know, about $15 to $18 here in Australia. But yeah, once again, we've whacked the Disney surcharge on. Let's have a look at the dots, at what dots has to offer us. Dots, 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 dots. Now, dots is the craft theme, obviously, and we are seeing some immense craft choices here in... A big message board. Look at the 3D printing on this. I don't know how I'm going to be creative with this. I'm, I, I'm looking forward to creating this, but I want to make my own things as well. And I just don't know that I have that much creativity. Look at the shadowing and the colors. And I get so overwhelmed when there are too many choices and I just don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I have to have it. Imagine having this on your wall with whatever you want on it. Creating my own designs is what's going to really... Stump me though, I think. Pretty, so pretty. Okay, so that's how it goes together. Okay, and there are also kind of a smaller version of this uh, here with a message board. So the message board, yeah, and this one's in pastels. Look at these nice long rounded pieces. They're going to be useful in so many capacities, but of course they make a really nice border as well. Look forward to using them as sofa edges and sofa backs and things like that for couches. Okay, all right, so a smaller message board and once again, an even smaller flat platform to create on. The Bag Tags Mega Pack, which is really cute actually because these are flat. I'm assuming they're rubbery as well. And they've also got the letters in them, which we've only seen in one other set, plus a few little emojis or, well, just little symbol -y kind of things. Yeah, that is very cool. I can think of, yeah, I can think of lots of ways that these could be used. All right, so did I miss anything? I might have missed something. Let me have a look. Uh, go team. Oh, the lots of letter. There's more lots of dots letterings in more colors. And I'm wondering if any of them are new. I haven't actually investigated that. And we haven't seen, I looked at these before in my previous video. They've been, they've been out for a while. Well, the pictures of them, but they're not available yet. So series six will be out soon, which is exciting. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there are lots of new things coming out in March, which is, I don't remember friends ever doing a double release, like doing a release in January and then a release in March. So maybe they're going to release four times a year. That would be kind of cool. I like that. I like getting surprises all throughout the year. All right. Lots of things to look at. Lots of new things to create. Make sure you subscribe. Check back in. New things going up all the time. Let me know what you want to see. Yeah. What you're most excited about for these particular March releases and what I might have missed that you're excited about. And yeah, let me know in the comments. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.